This is the oil pressure regulator valve. This would be the oil pressure relief valve over here. They look the same, except for the roll pin is out here rather than here. The one over here would be back here because it's a higher pressure. Okay, on the oil pump, we could take this apart and inspect the gears inside if we needed to, if there was something wrong with it. Um, basically, I'm just going to make sure everything feels nice and smooth. I know there wasn't any issues with this, so I'm not going to worry about it. Um, okay, so we're going to install this, and I need to put some gasket eliminator right here. It doesn't take a whole heck of a lot. A lot of times I'll put a gasket on it. I don't have one today, though, so I'm not doing that takes just a very small amount there obviously they need to be clean first okay a lot of times we don't even put um, a sealant on those okay so the next thing I'm gonna go ahead and install this um, here you can see the uh, relief valve I was talking about uh, notice the roll pins back farther okay it's gonna come up here on top of my engine I get it in there right and I just screwed up my eliminator job so I'm gonna clean that up okay it bolts down there we're gonna come over here and right here is where my second one's gonna go my uh, regulator valve I've got to clean that gasket eliminator up. See that film on there? I need to scrape that off. Use a buffer or a screwdriver or whatever, but that's plenty of eliminator on there. That'll seal it up nice and nice and tight. I want to find the right bolts for it. Looks like probably that one and that one. Okay, we're going to mount him there, and then we're going to look up our torque specs as to what those go to. And the rest of our bolts here, these two would go here. Notice this is a gear-driven pump. Bolt there. There. Let's see. Now, where are my short ones? Should be two short ones. No, I think they're all the same length. So that's not going to matter. Okay. Put two there. Two there. There. And two there. We're going to torque them to our spec. Um, I will finish that up. Then we need to check and make sure that we have end play or um, backlash in our gears here. Um, you can see that moving back and forth. Uh, there's going to be a spec. It's usually under about 12 to oh 10, 10 to 12 thousandths is a good number. We'll look that up in the book and find out. Um, but that's how you do that. And obviously, this would have been tighten down before I check that. Put a dial indicator right here like so. Basically I'm going to rig this up so that I can read my gear lash. So put this guy on here like so. I'm going to go ahead and move this stuff around, get it where it needs to be. them up there and there. I need to preload my indicator. As you can see, we've got about, oh, a lot. So we'll move this. We'll zero this indicator. Let's go the other way. There, I've got about 20 two thousandths which is way too much but what I need to do is torque this down and then that would obviously change that
Okay, we're going to go ahead and get the oil pan installed. A couple of tricks on that. Any of these valve covers or oil pans, you need to put a gob of sil silicone or eliminator or something across these seams. If you don't, it'll guarantee the leak. Same here, I made sure this was clean already. You've got there, there, any place there's a seam. You don't do that, like I said, it'll leak, so you can have it going out. We have a pan gasket on this, it's usually a trick to get on and off. Um, this one's stuck, so I'm leaving it alone. Um, but usually what you have to do is run it through a hot water washer, make sure it's completely dry and clean before you new, install the new gasket. I'll show you. on fairly easily. There's a spacer and an isolator and bolt that goes in here. You really can't over tighten these. The reason they put the rubbers on them is for uh, explosion purposes. On natural gas engines it's way more important. so much the diesel side but the natural gas stuff does that so once we get our oil pan on we'll go ahead and flip it back over and put it back on our stand you kind of see our plug here oh never mind that that was our locking tool where the or hole for the locking tool to go into torque to like uh, 25 foot pounds. It's just a standard bolt torque. Uh, when I tighten this, I'm going to start the middle, just like I would with anything else. I'm pulling it down evenly. Now I'll come back and hit those with a torque wrench, but that's how that works. Valve cover on. I need to put a bead of silk or a gas eliminator or silicone, something like that, here and there. If I don't, it will leak. I'm going to do the same thing down here. Anywhere there's a seam, you've got to put a bead of eliminator or silicone, something, otherwise, it will leak oil out there. You can see right here and here is where it's putting that bead so it seals and the same thing here and here. Um, if you have to replace this gasket, this is a reusable gasket. They're kind of a pain to get put in, but you need to run it through like a hot water washer. Make sure it's completely clean and dry before you put it on because the gasket won't stay in there. Uh, the newer style valve covers don't do that. Okay, we're going to put our valve cover on. this groove, make sure gasket's in it, all that fun stuff. I put goo in the corners. It's on like so. And there's four bolts down the center. Have these big rubber isolators on. Um, makes it easy to get on and off. This is a Jake break valve cover, but it's so tall. 
Zip them down. Turn the center out. <laughs> Anyways, torque that bolt, now I'm good to go. I broke my valve cover bolt and I got lucky that it spins in the bore. If it weren't for that, I would end up getting a drill and a bolt extractor and all that fun stuff to get this out. Looks like I'm going to get lucky. A pair of pliers able to get it out. That must have just been a stressed bolt that was weak already. We'll find a new bolt and finish this up and we'll be good to go. Quite. Could have been a lot worse, at least it's not in the engine block. That's why you gotta be dang careful with your impact gun. There's the rest of my bolt. Broke. Yeah, that one was just overstretched to start with. Okay, this calls for 15 to 18 foot-pounds. Ooh, I had them way too tight. That's why it broke. what I get for not looking it up first. 15 to 18 foot pounds on those bolts, so not very tight.